Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me. Now this is going to be a Rasta Pop ROM review. This is a very simplistic ROM. It's very minimal. And as you can see here, this is the boot logo or boot screen for Rasta Pop. This is a very minimal ROM, like I mentioned. Nothing too fancy about it, but I'm just going to give you a quick preview of what is available with the Rasta Pop ROM. I am going to mention that it is very, very stable. This is actually a fairly old build. Uh, it is from the 31st of December 2014, just before the new year. You're going to see down here Rasta Pop build date. Uh, it is running Franco kernel currently. I flashed that myself. It does come with a stock kernel, but it does in fact run Android 5.0.2. There is no OTA update process, so be aware of that. You will have to dirty flash each time there is an update. But it's very stable. Um, I haven't had any issues with it so far. And you will notice that everything will be located in the Rastapop menu. So you won't have to go digging through all the sub-menus in the settings options. Very nice feature. You will have the status bar menu here, and you have the ability to adjust the brightness with that slider on top on your notification or the status bar. You can enable or disable that. You do have the show battery percentage, so you can put it within the battery itself or just next to it or disable it completely. There is no ability to change the battery icon as found in some other ROMs. You can also put a power button in your status bar as well right here next to your uh, login or user settings. So pretty cool feature there. You also have the navigation bar menu and you can go in here and basically enable or disable your navigation bar. You can also change the height of the navigation bar to whatever you want. And you can install your own custom navigation if you want to. I use Pi Controls. You can also go into Volume Rocker. And in here you can enable the wake of the device using your volume uh, rockers. So if you want to wake it up with the volumes, you can if you want to enable that. You also have playback controls. If the display is off, you have music playing. You can seek using the volume rockers. You can also disable that annoying uh, adjustment sound when using your volume rockers, the indication of the beep and the loudness of your adjustments. You can also use the volume key for cursor control if you want to. And you just go in there in the volume rocker settings. You also have system settings and you can set up that advanced reboot option. So if you go in here, and you hold down this, if you had that certain specific setting set, you will get the advanced reboot menu there. And then you can also set up the kill back button. So if you have a task open, you can just hold that down and it will kill the foreground app. But that is pretty much it in terms of the feature sets with Rastapop. You do in fact get a close all. As most of you know, the stock Google Android does not come with a close off feature for whatever reason, so you do get that with Rastapop. So it is a nice integration, but that's pretty much it. It's a very simple ROM. There's nothing too fancy about it, but it is very, very stable and it is very clean. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you like this video, and uh, until next time, peace.